again. It's a red stick. Welcome back to another video. So we're going to do my nails today. We're going to use this bar nail solid building gel that I got last week. So I'm going to use the pink um, and I'm going to use the stiletto dual forms. I am going to snip them down to a coffin. When you're using dual forms, always try one size up. You don't want it to fit like a press on. You want it to be slightly bigger. So a quick bit of nail prep. Um, don't forget as well guys, I've got a massive 25% off for Varnail. I will leave it in my description box with a link to the website. So I've pushed all my cuticles back and I'm just getting rid of any dead skin. Yeah, this solid extension gel, it's not the same as the solid tip gel that you use to apply tips. You can actually fully build your nail out of this stuff. I've had a few people ask me actually to do a comparison video and show you the difference between the two which I probably will do at some point. So I'm just getting rid of all that dead skin. I've not touched these nails for a month, guys, so there was quite a lot. So I'm just using um, a file and I'm just scratching up the surface of my nail. I have already got some product, a thin layer of product left on my nail. So I'm not scratching at my natural nail. If you're just scratching up your natural nail, I'd use a buffer, a little bit of a softer grit. Um, but yeah, as I had a bit of product on, I just did it a bit scruffy duffy. So now I'm just going to use a dehydrator and a primer. So I'm using the Varnail base coat, I'm just going to give my name, I'm going to start with my pinky and you want to just do a nice thin even coat of the base coat and that cures in the lamp for 30 seconds. So initially I started out using a cuticle pusher and I'm just using that to get the product in the dual form and I'm going to completely fill this dual form nice and thin at the cuticle and then th quite thin towards the tip. As I said earlier I will be snipping these down to a coffin. So I wasn't worried about getting it too neat of a stiletto shape because yeah, I'm going to cut it down and make sure you get it right up the sides of the dual form. If you have bits missing at the sides, then you'll have bits missing <laughs> when you take the dual form off. So I'm going to completely fill that dual form. I do end up switching later to a, a silicone tool and it, I found a silicone tool is a lot easier to use than this cuticle pusher you can use your finger but I couldn't be bothered putting gloves on so I'm going to press this down quite firmly a little bit harder than I would do with poly gel because it is a firm product make sure it's pressed in right at the sides you can't you'll feel it you'll feel it when it's fully pressed pressed down any that's come out I'm just scraping it away and that is it it's so easy and clean and not sticky so that's going to get a 60 seconds cure now so for my ring, pink, my ring finger, I pulled out some pinky purple iridescent maple leaves and a little glitter to match. And again, I'm using the base coat. I'm going to put a coat of base coat inside the jewel form. I'm not going to cure it. I'm leaving that wet. And I'm just going to put two or three leaves in and just a tiny, tiny little sprinkle of glitter dotted in and about them leaves. And then I'm going to cure that in the lamp for 30 seconds. Right, and now that is out the lamp, I'm just going to do exactly the same as what I did with the first nail. Just fill that dual form, thin at the cuticle, thin at the tip. Make sure you get it right up the sides. And yeah, exactly the same process now as that first nail.
So that's going in the lamp for 60 seconds now, guys. And I've done all the rest off camera because they're exactly the same. Um, I've just done them all plain pink. My thumb dual foam was a bit small. It was the smallest one I had. But it was all right. So this is the best part now. Give them all a little twist and a little pull. Pop them all off. So that is what they look like before I file them and buff them. They look yanky, don't they? <laughs> so I'm just getting any any tackiness off, snipping them down, get them all same length. And can you see around the edges and around the cuticle, you just get a little lip, a little lip of product sticking out, don't you? So I'm literally just going to file that little lip off from the sides and the cuticle area. And that is it. That is all the filing you need to do, really. So this is where we're at, that's them all filed and buffed. I quite liked them nice and plain like that actually. I did, I liked them nice and plain. So I'm using a matte top coat on the pointer and the pinky because I'm going to do a bit of a sweater nail on those fingers. So cure that for 30 seconds. So I'm going to use Vaux Nail Gel Polish in the colour Rubber Pink. I'm just putting a little bit on my palette and i'm going to do a little bit of a sweater nail on this pinky and the pointer i'll just show you doing this pinky so just a little ziggity zaggity liney pattern thing <laughs> going down like this and i'm going to sprinkle clear acrylic into this before i cure it so just sprinkle your acrylic quite lightly you don't want to glug it on because it can flatten out your gel polish sometimes just a nice little sprinkle, cure that for 30 seconds. Make sure you dust off all that excess acrylic. And then I'm just gonna do a line down each side and some dots and same again, sprinkle it in acrylic. So now I decided to put some glitter on this middle nail and the thumb. So I'm going in again with a base coat. I should have done this in the dual form, but I didn't sure I wasn't sure what I was doing. I made this setup as I went along. I could have done this in the dual form just like I did with the maple leaves on that other nail. But it's fine, you can do it on top of the nail. So I'm just putting all that glitter into the wet base coat. Just doing a bit of a glitter fade coming up from the tip. And I'm gonna cure that in the lamp for 30 seconds. And now I'm just using a nice thick top coat, nice generous layer of top coat, just to en completely encapsulate that glitter and get all get all the lumpy bumpy, all the lumpy bumpiness out of it. <laughs> and now I'm going in with the glossy top coat and get these finished.
there we go guys that is then finished this stuff is so easy to use there's no cleanup there's no stickiness absolutely fantastic stuff i do think it's best used with uh dual forms or full cover tips that kind of way but for beginners absolutely fantastic anyway guys that is then finished don't forget links will be below 25 percent off code will be below take advantage of that make sure you give the video a thumbs up guys subscribe to my channel if you're not already and hopefully i'll see you all back in my next one take care bye